So you want to start with a straw wreath hoop and you want to get yourself some yarn kind of in a ball and you'll tie that onto the wreath hoop tightly. Leave the tail out and then flip it over. So Celosia comes in a couple different colors. Uh, you can mix the red and the yellow and the pink, which is what I did with this wreath. It makes a very striking contrast. But for this wreath that I'm currently making, I'm just going to use the red because that's what I have the most of right now. But you can do this any way you want. So I'm going to start by just putting a bunch of it on the wreath and wrapping the yarn around it. You want to make sure you keep it fairly tight but not so tight that you snap the stems. So then you take a little more and put that along the side, filling in the gaps where the top bunch didn't cover. Go around it again. It's best to work in tiny little bunches like this with only a few stems, because that way you can be sure that the yarn is securing them without too much slack. And so you'll just keep going, filling in the hoop with your celosia until you get about four or five inches down. And then you'll take a piece of dried yarrow, because the yellow makes a nice pop against the red of the celosia. And you'll wind the yarn around that, and then stick a few pieces of celosia around that yarrow, and wind the yarn around that to secure everything in place, and then just keep going, filling it in. If you run out of yarn, you can just tie another piece to the end of your piece of yarn, and just keep going as if it's all one piece. So when you get close to the end, it gets a little tricky, so you have to just fill in the gap by tucking some pieces in with the edges under the very first pieces of celosia that you laid down and then wrap the yarn around you kind of weave it around the celosia and then pull it tight so that you don't see it then stick a piece of yarrow to help cover up the line here's my cat mr spock checking it out to make sure everything looks good and so then continue fill in the gap tucking some pieces into the first bits of celosia and again you kind of want to weave the yarn through there and then pull it up tight and then on the back side once you've got all the gaps filled in just wind the yarn around some of the yarn that you've been wrapping just kind of winding it around itself and tying it off a few times so that you get it nice and secure and then cut off the excess and then you have yourself a nice celosia wreath. So again, you can mix celosia colors, but in this case I just use mostly red celosia with some bright yellow yarrow to make it pop. And these would make good autumn wreaths or Easter wreaths, depending on the colors that you use.